Hi, it's Sandy Wiley. Welcome to my mental health channel, where I wipe away the stigma of mental illness by talking about my own struggles having borderline personality disorder. I talk about complex post-traumatic disorder, anxiety and panic attacks. I talk about depression, my narcissistic mother who abused me as a child. I talk about my schizophrenic father who's been in and out of mental institutes, uh, my unethical psychologist who raped me, and all the different therapies I've been in, and a plethora of other mental health related topics. But I only come on as a former patient of almost 20 years. I am not a licensed therapist, I do not hold a degree in psychology, so I cannot diagnose you or give you a professional opinion. And all I ask in return of you is your kindness and respect in the comments. Please be kind and respectful in the comments to me and to everyone else. We don't need to agree on everything, but we do need to always agree on showing each other respect and kindness. Now, if you are new to my channel, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button on the lower right hand corner. Uh, that way you'll be notified every time a new video comes on and it's a hundred percent free <laughs> and if you like what you see give it a thumbs up now i have to tell you something before i begin this video this is the last video i'm doing before my vacation week and a half in orlando florida going on a family vacation with my son and my husband and we're going to be spending a week and a half going to Universal, going to Disney World, um, going in the pools there, um, just having a blast <laughs> visiting Mickey Mouse and Minnie and Donald Duck. Um, so I will not be doing videos from Florida. So just to let you know, this is the last one um, for another 10 or 11 days. Okay. Today's topic is how do you define happiness? What's standing in your way of happiness? Now, I'll tell you how I define happiness. Happiness to me is living life the way I want to live it. Doing what I want to do, that includes my work ethic, um, what I do every day, writing, um, doing a newsletter on LinkedIn, writing poetry for um, poetry magazines and journals, doing my videos, my mental health channel. I'm doing what I love to do and just living life the way I want to in nature. Always doing my videos outside, even with the traffic and all the noise because I love being outside. Um, so living the life the way I want to, loving who I want to love, doing the work I want to do, um, living the life I want to live, you know, that's happiness to me. But now what stands in the way of other people's happiness? Well, I think a lot of people are pessimistic, okay? They only see the glass half full. Um, they don't appreciate what they have. So some people can have everything and be miserable because they don't see, they don't appreciate what they actually have. Um, they can have all the money in the world. Um, they can have lovers, all the lovers, handsome or gorgeous woman. Um, they can have a gorgeous knockout figure um, and they're still miserable. So, you know, that just goes to show you that money and, and or, or they can have fame and they can be famous. Fame, money, those are fleeting things. Having a gorgeous figure. You know, if you don't appreciate what you have, um, if you always look at the glass half full, then you're never going to be happy. The first, To me, happiness is about being happy in life with what you have. Um, so if you're, you know, a, a downer, a, <laughs> what is it, 
a Karen. <laughs> Karens will never be happy because Karens complain about everything. What's another way of standing? What, what else is standing in your way of happiness? Well, if you're constantly worrying about things, all right? You're a worry what? You can't relax. You're always worried about, you know, um, did, did I do this right? Um, will I pass the test? Is my boss going to be happy with my performance today? Um, am I going to pass the test if you're a student? Or um, are people going to like me? Um, how am I going to do on the interview? Uh, am I going to make friends at the new college? Um, and you're just constantly worried about everything. It could be anything, you know. If you're doing something wrong. It just worrying drains you. It saps you of your energy, all right? So if you're worried constantly, if you're one of these nervous Nellies and worry, 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 um, that's going to stand in the way of your happiness. All right, so don't don't um, look ahead too much because don't 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 proceed trouble or don't borrow trouble. Okay, don't borrow trouble, and that's if you look ahead too much and fear fear things. Another thing that will stop you uh, from happiness is holding on to grudges. You know. Um, if you stay fixated on things in the past, you know, that happened in the past. That happened in yesterday. All right, that's over with. This is one of my biggest things that stands in the way of my happiness. I hold on to grudges. I stay fixated in the past, you know, and I worry about the future. So <laughs> there you have it, folks. <laughs> so let go of the past. Try to, you know, don't focus on it. Think about what's happening now. My vacation with Mickey Mouse in Orlando, Florida. Be grateful, you know. I'm grateful for my husband. I'm grateful for my children. I'm grateful I get to do these videos every day. I'm grateful I'm going to go to Orlando in the beautiful sunshine and, and have a wonderful vacation in Disney World. So just look to the present moment. Don't look at the past and, you know, oh, my narcissistic mother, oh, my schizophrenic father, my son who was stricken with traumatic brain injury, my cousin stealing my inheritance, my psychologist raping me. Don't, you gotta let, let that baggage, you gotta put that behind you and just concentrate on what's in front of you now and be grateful for what's in front of you now. Um, what are some other things that interfere with happiness? Besides worry, worry, um, comparing yourself to others. That's another thing. That's another thing that will interfere with your happiness if you're always comparing yourself to others. Now, I do this all the time. <laughs> to only look at, try, only try to better the person you were yesterday. Don't look at someone else. I know I go on other YouTube channels and I say, but this person has, you know, 12,000 subscribers. This person, and these are ordinary women like me. They're my age. This person has, you know, and I don't even have 5,000 subscribers. And this woman is my age. And, you know, she's just doing ordinary videos. She's not doing any, you know, crime or any, you know. She doesn't have any um, special effects in her video. She's just sitting there in a chair and talking to everyone like I do. And she's got 12,000. This woman I know, my former yoga teacher, got 20,000 subscribers. This woman is making, you know, $40,000 a year doing YouTube videos. This woman is, you know, you see what I mean? Oh, this woman is so thin. And I'm I'm overweight. Oh, this woman is younger and I'm old. Or this woman or that woman. And Don't compare yourself to others. You'll never find happiness comparing yourself to others because someone will always have more than you all right people will have someone there's going to be people who have much more in life than you do much more money much more looks much more you fill in the blank all right better this better car better house better travels maybe you can only afford camping and they're going all over europe first class plane you know 
And there's always going to be a group of people who are much worse than you, you know, who can't afford, a, who don't have a house, who live paycheck to paycheck, who can't afford to go on a vacation at all. So there's always going to be, you know, those that are better and those are worse, but you're going to drive yourself crazy and you're never going to be happy if you're constantly comparing yourself to other people. Another thing that can zap you of your happiness is surrounding yourself with negative or down people. People who always complain. People who are never happy. People who are abusive, who are critical, who are judgmental of you. You gotta be careful the people that you surround yourself with. I said this in another video because it'll either make you or break you. So if you surround yourself with depressed, you know, complainers who never see any good in the world who are always, you know, unhappy, then that's going to rub off on you. It does. It does rub off on you who you hang around with. If you hang around with positive, uplifting people, then you will feel better. You will feel uplifted. You will feel positive. So you've got to be careful who you surround yourself with. Because certain people can just like enter a room and just suck all the energy, just pull all the energy, you know, all the ears, they, their oxygen, they deprive you of oxygen. They just pull everything out and just like, you know, everything just comes down. So you don't want to be around those people. That's why a lot of people watch motivational videos. How many people watch the TED Talks, you know, on YouTube? Or just motivational videos. Uh, um, a lot of people I know watch motivational videos because it uplifts them. If they're in a bad place in life and they're depressed or they're very sad about something, they put on a motivational video and, and listen to that and it energizes, you know, it energizes them, it uplifts them. Instead of, you know, who wants to hear a depressing video? You know, it's like if you watch a um, sad movie, after watching a sad movie, I, you know, one that you need a box of tissues, you know? <laughs> like my son will say, oh, we're gonna watch this movie. Here, mom, I bought the box of tissues for you. <laughs> um, well, I like to watch comedy because I love to laugh. Laughing is healthy. You know, that that belly laugh when you're, <laughs> you're bursting a gut, <laughs> you know, laughing with the tears <laughs> streaming down your face. <laughs> I'd rather watch things that are uplifting because like if I watch, I never watch horror movies. If you watch a horror movie, if I do, I'll go to bed with nightmares. I'll be up all night having terrible, terrible nightmares. So I only watch things that are going to make me laugh or, you know, entertain me that are funny and that are entertaining, not horror flicks not sad tear jerker like those hallmark movies <laughs> they're always about something like really sad you know um yeah i don't i don't like watching those so surround yourself with uplifting people motivational videos um, um ted talks that are you know meant to encourage there's lots of videos out there but choose, choose wisely because they, um, they can affect your mood. I know they affect my mood. So a lot of people think that, you know, happiness is this elusive butterfly that, you know, some people are like, um, you know, some people have good luck and some people have bad luck. Um, but that's not true, you know. You can make your own happiness, you know. It's up to you. Don't look for happiness in other people because if you look for happiness in other people, you're never going to find it. You have to look for it. It comes from within you. you know, only you, you know, you're in the driver's seat of your life or you should be in the driver's seat of your life. And you can choose which direction you go in. And it's never too late. Remember this. If you're on a path that, you know, 
you're unhappy about and you want to switch gears, then by all means, you know, choose a different path, turn a different way, say, I'm not going down, I'm not continuing on this same road because I've been unhappy now for years on this same road or with this same person or with this same job or where I live. I'm not happy where I live. I'm not happy who I'm with, um, who my you know, partner is or who my friends are or what I do for work. You can, if you're not happy in those situations, choose to exit them, you know? You choose what doors you enter, you know? And you choose what doors you exit. Doors. <laughs> One of my favorite bands, Jim Morrison, The Doors. There's a whole poem about doors that was based on that they use that for the name of the group, The Doors. So just remember that you can choose what doors you enter and you can choose what doors you exit. So it's all up to you, right? And let's all be grateful for what we have. If we're alive and healthy or semi-healthy, everyone, I mean, I have a lot of health issues, but you know, I'm not gonna let them interfere with my life. Um, I have, you know, I'm not even gonna talk about them, okay? But I mean, if you're semi-healthy, you know, you're not dying or anything, you don't have cancer, and you have a roof over your head, you have a bed to sleep in, you have food on the table, you have people who love you, who care about you, who you love and you care about. You know, let's be grateful for all that we have. Let's find happiness in the simple moments. I'm happy when I sit in my yard and I see the blue jay, you know, splashing himself in my bird bath. I'm happy when I see a bunny rabbit hop in hop in my yard little things like that I'm happy being out here you know in nature getting to do my YouTube videos outside you know right here among the trees I love it you know sure it's in the city and you hear the traffic going around but I still rather do my videos outside because I love being outside in nature I love nature Yesterday I went to Concord, I went for a walk, um, and I love um, those boardwalks. Oh, I love walking on boardwalks through, through the woods. And it's very, very peaceful to be out in nature, and I love it. So let's be grateful. I'm grateful for you, my subscribers, of course, always. Tell me what you're grateful for. Tell me what you're happy. Tell me what brings you happiness. How do you define happiness? You know, write it in the comments. Let me know how you define happiness. Um, also, is it fleeting for you? Do you feel in your life right now that it's very hard to find happiness? That you're, um, that you're having, you know, issues with happiness? That you don't feel completely happy? Let me know and let's have an ongoing conversation about it. Um, I love your comments. I love my new subscribers. Every day I'm getting new subscribers and I'm very grateful for that. And let's keep talking. But remember this, I will be on vacation for the next um, at least 10 days from now. So sometime the end of September, sometime at the end of September, I don't know what date, just subscribe so you will be notified when the next video is. But I just wanted to remind you all that I will be on vacation. All right? So, bon voyage, and I'll talk to you and do a video as soon as I get back.